Today, this class, the playlist that you can follow along with, it's Maison Goldblum Stretch MGS3 on my Spotify, um, which is Emily Goldblum at Spotify. So um, I'm gonna play the sounds that are royalty free, and then I'll be able to talk you through it just because last time I saw the video and I just feel like it's so much better if I'm able to explain and help guide you in a proper alignment. So that's it. Come join, get everything ready, and I hope you guys have a great one. Yes, let's do it. I'm excited. Mm -mm -mm. It's not the same without the music, so hopefully you guys can get the music. All right, we're just gonna start nice and easy, easy legs wide, hands crossed in front, pull back. Pull back, switching one arm on top of the other. Eight, seven, six, five, open up that toes, four, three, two, one, step, touch, steps, touch, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee, opposite knee, knee lifts, good, eight, Now we're 
hopping onto that opposite leg. Step out. 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 Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Again. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Bend the back leg. Three. Two. One. Again. water. Woo. And now moving on to our arms. You're going to be close to your weight. Let's just open up that chest. Reach. Reach. Really getting that stretch in that side body. Three, two, and one. Good. Grab those weights. Big C rotation. Four, good, three, two, 
Yes, one. Bring those arms up, then rotate so the backs of your hands are together. Behind your ears, your arms are in line with the ears or behind. Pull down, up, down, yes. Elbow, it comes down and squeezes, latching on with that shoulder right here. Yes, 10, nine, and get that rotation, rotate, and bring it back. Rotate, down, rotate, that wrist, and shoulder, five, four, three, two, one. Good, other side. Get the movement in your body, and then pull it out. Reach, extend, squeeze, and squeeze. Walk, yes. Breathe. And eight, seven, three, six, five, four, three, good, good. And two, one, make each one count. Now together, together, a little bend in the knees. Can you extend and lift the kneecaps up so that your quads are fully engaged? Squeezing those inner thighs, squeezing those glutes, and squeezing those shoulder blades back together. Widening that collarbone, pulling in from that navel, pressing it back into that spine. Good. Five more. And five. And four. Three. Yes. Two. Good. One. Arms out. Down. Yeah. 
and then it's going to come further forward, head toward the floor, and extend that weight towards the front of the foot. And go. Lower. 
quad. All right, now we're coming into a shortened down dog, three-legged dog. So we're gonna start with your right leg, my left leg. Come into a down dog. Get a stretch here, stretch with calves, walk it out. Okay, and now you're gonna take that right leg, my left leg, off the mat, and you're gonna just put your weight in between both legs. And then you're gonna, from here, lift. Ooh, this is where you need your ankles. Or you could do it without this. I want it with. Mm. Okay, sorry. I need to take that second. Good, Velcro. All right, here we go. Now you know where you're going. So we are in our short down dog with a nice straight back. And you're taking that, your right leg off the mat, lifting your kneecaps. So this is fully engaged, pressing away from the mat. And then from the toe on the, uh, on your, your, oh my goodness, your right toe, you're just lifting and lower. Lift and rock the hips away from that left leg. Right leg lifts and up. Good. Breathe and lift. Take it down. Breathe. Good. Ten. Down. Nine. Rock. Press that weight in the left foot. Right foot. And then lift. Good. Pulling in from the navel, pressing away from the floor, spreading all ten fingers. Good. Seven. Six. Just even a slight lifting off the floor is still working. Those outer hips and those arms. Three. Four. Good. Three. And two. Good. The one we're going to hold and pulse it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Coming down. And we're going to do side oblique crunches with your little towel to glide. So, my right arm, your left, is coming down onto the towel and extending those legs out in front of you. So some of your, your body weight is mostly on the back side of your hip. And we're gonna go up just like this. And if you need, then you're gonna extend that bottom leg straight onto the floor. And then you just come from a straight, both legs straight, bending that top leg, your right leg. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, Back to parallel. Two. And 
behind. Control the toes. Press away. One, two, three, four. Squeeze those glutes and bring the shoulders in line with your wrist. Lower the knee. Hold. Down. Hands forward. We've got somewhere to go. And then four. Yes. Three. My left side, your right side, and 
then we're bringing your towel onto the hand, your right hand, and we're going to glide. We're going to use it to glide. So we're coming into our side oblique crunches. Again, what I find helpful is helpful putting my body weight on the back part of my hip bone. This is that big bone, and I can have a balance on the bone. So I have to put it in front of me, and so I'm there balance. Okay, our modification again, on the leg straight, and then you lift one leg, or else you're here, squeezing those toes and ankles together. Good. And eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, three, and two. Yes, one last time. Up. You can put your weight on that front knee. 
before you drive that knee to the chest. Breathe. Good. Squeezing that glute behind you. With a nice straight leg. And five. Four. Good. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Other side. So you're going to work your left leg. Extending that right leg fully straight behind you. Bring that uh, left leg in front. So the left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Up, down, drive. Coming on to our plank 
all fours, but you're gonna come onto your one of uh, your left forearm, your right leg is gonna stay at a 90 degree bend, and we're lifting. Just let it up nice and slow. Hold. Let's do 10. Really slow. Good. Left, you're on your the body weight is on that left forearm and your right leg is lifting the 90 degree bend. Lift it up here for good. And five. And four. Good. And three. And two. Good. One. And now rock and lift. Rock onto both knees and then onto the left knee. And left. Good. Ten. Three. Nine. Eight. Hold up through that navel. Lengthen that spine.
reach a little bit higher with your hips, spine, and then drop the shoulders. Good. And then breathe. Over, hinge, hinge, hinge. And then stop wherever your back starts to round. And just hold it there. You can bring the hands behind your head. If that's more comfortable. Like that foot nice and hard. Breathe. I'm gonna pulse for four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna drop everything and drape my body weight over that left knee, extending that left knee, pressing the back of my knee into the floor for full activated stretch. Good, breathe. Nice. Now you're gonna take your opposite arm, your right arm, and Cross it over the ankle, that left foot. And you're just gonna slightly open up and feel that stretch in your outer right shoulder. Press into that shoulder, lift and drop. Good. Lift and drop it in. Three, two, and one. Good work. Drape everything over and then roll up. Vertebrae, vertebrae, good. You can take a nice flat stretch here. Dropping the leg, the body, all the way back. So you've got your right leg bent. I sometimes like to lift my hips off of the mat and just, just kind of wiggle very gently and lightly to feel a deeper stretch in that quad. Good.
I am so happy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the playlist. It's MGS3 on my Spotify. Um, Emily Goldblum, Rizzo Goldblum Stretch is um, what you will find on YouTube, also under my name, Emily Goldblum. And that's it. I hope you guys had a great time and enjoyed all the class, all the exercises. Okay. Mwah!